Okay, is it time to turn the water on yet? I, I'm going to decide no. I'm going to decide not to turn the water on yet. I'm going to get my little cutters, my little electrical cutters. Okay, I'm getting ready. And before, before I do that, I've got my toilet seat down. You can do this with your toilet seat up with if you want, but for my purposes, I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to put this on there. And if you have a plastic seat, just be real careful with that and try not to uh, uh, lean on it too much. In fact, I think I'm going to put this down for my knees. Um, just don't, just don't uh, lean on this too much and crack your plastic toilet seat, okay? Last thing you want to do when you're trying to fix your toilet. Now you've broken something else. All right. Okay, so I, I am going to take this thing here. Remember, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spread it with my my thumb and my finger, and I'm gonna put it on here. I, I might be in your way, but I gotta I gotta get it. I gotta get it pressed on there somehow. Okay. Ah. Uh, see, I, I put it on. I put it on the wrong direction. If it was right there, this water shooting in the tank, not, not down in there, then it can splash all around. It's really designed to be put on uh, facing the opposite direction, uh, like that, okay? Like that. So now, you see, when this, when this pipe is on there, hooked up, this water, this pipe, it's actually sitting above, above the drain, right? And that water is shooting straight down, down, down this uh, pipe. That pipe's not actually in, uh, hooked up uh, to the drain or anything. It, it just goes down on the outside of where your flapper is, and it keeps your water from spraying all around and stuff, and from moving this all around, and it just fills from the bottom up, okay? And so now this, gets hooked on to the side over there and I don't know if you saw that it's just that little nib see it's just that little nib right there coming out from the side so now I got to put that on there and, and I do that next and what I usually do is I'll spit in here uh, or or you can take a little spit and put in there uh, just to get it just to get it slightly moist so that when I so that when I put it on there, it's gonna go nicely over there. So I'm gonna hold on to the back side of that. And I, I wanna get it, I wanna get it all the way on there. When you think you got it all the way on there, try to push it on some more. Okay? There. Now now can you see where that one is? If I were to hook that on, this is sticking way up high. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a a guess, and if anything, maybe I should cut it just a hair long. That I think, and then I can always cut it shorter. If I cut it too short, I can never cut it longer, can I? Okay. Now I can kind of hold this where I think it needs to go. Make sure it's lower. Than there and it's and it's fine. Okay, now I can I can press that on there like that, or I can get it wet. I'm gonna I'm gonna put just a little spit in there. It just seems like it makes it easier. And now, if you're having a hard time, you can pull this back off if you want, right? And because I'm having to hang on to that and push it at the same time but you you'll figure it and if you can't if you can't do it that way pull that off and then you can do it and put it on okay there that's how that works whoop like that i could have i could have cut it shorter so it didn't it didn't go up and down as much but i think that's going to be fine now am i ready to turn the water on think about it what's your answer with everything I've told you so far. Bump, ba bump, 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 bump. Okay, what's your answer? 
the time to turn the water on? If you said yes, no, it's not. I'm not going to turn the water on yet. If you said no, Joe, video Joe, don't turn the water on yet. We know what you need to do. Give yourself a gold star because you are correct. Because here, here's what I want to explain to you if you missed it before. If I turn the water back on, I could possibly loosen up any little sediment and stuff that has built up over the many, many years that this plumbing has been installed in this house. This house is probably 24 years old. And so anything that's caught inside the lines, when I sh turn the water back on, it might, whoosh, it might loosen up any little sediment. If, if I do loosen up any sediment, where do you suppose it's gonna go? Where's that sediment going to go? It's going to come up the bottom of this fill, fill tank, right? This fill valve, and it's gonna get caught in the top where that little gasket was. You remember it? You remember that gasket? It's a little rubber gasket. This is the one, see? Little, and this is rubber. And this was if we would have replaced that on the existing one. I decided not to do that. Okay, it has that gasket in there, but it's just a small little pinhole. And if you get anything caught up in there, then it could cause that little pin thing to not release properly when, when the fill valve says, okay, stop, the toilet's filled, filled up high enough, leave it alone, boom, leave it alone, okay? So now, I'm gonna show you how to, how to do that, but I'm gonna, for, for uh, the sake of demonstration first, so that you can see everything properly, I am going to, uh, I'm going to take the old one, the one that I disconnected, and show you how to pop that top off. I've never done it on this one, and it should pop off just like I'm going to do that one. So I'm going to get myself situated here. Be right back.